This tutorial is going to have to do with arcing lettering, whether it be underneath a design or on top of, the, of a design. So you hit your lettering icon on the toolbar, click on your screen, and type in something that you need arced, whether it be the top or bottom. First thing we're going to do is do the top arc. So we're going to do New York Police doesn't matter what font that you choose, but what we're going to look at is to the right you're going to see a checkbox for place lettering on an arc. You click on that and you get another button that comes up, Arc Values. If this is the first time that you've done this, you're better off just choosing the three right now just to see where that arc brings you. So I'm going to hit OK and hit Apply, and it's that simple. Well, with the size lettering that we chose and the arc value that we have, we can kind of see the results. I could hit OK and play with that a little bit. But I think right now I'm going to want to make the lettering a little bit smaller and I'm going to want that arc value a little bit tighter. So I'm going to bring this down to about 0.35, go back to my arc value. Since it's at 2, I'm going to see what, uh, since it's at 3, excuse me, I'm going to see what 2 does. Hit OK and hit Apply. That's kind of where I want it, but what I'm going to need to do is tighten up the spacing in between these letters. So I'm going to use my Find Spacing tool, and that is the letter A uh, with the arrow going to the left. I'm going to hit about five of those. Same thing in between York and Police. That's going to tighten that up. Uh, a little bit more. Every font reacts a little bit different to these, so you gotta you got to play with it. It's definitely not one of the best features of Design Shop, Design Shop software, the arcing feature. But you just have to know how to work with it. Right now I'm going to give it even more of an arc. I'm going to say 1.7. See where that brings me. Well, that's looking good. Again, you can go back and forth and play with these as much as you want. Hit my 3D button to check it out. And there is a top arc. Again, you can keep going back and tweaking it, uh, maybe pulling in the design a little bit, the lettering, see if that does anything for you. But basically, that is the top arc. Now, to go into a bottom arc, that's where I go into the arc values. So I'm going to keep this same type of arc. I'm going to do 180 degrees, which is going to flip it and also make it counterclockwise. And that just completely took my arc and flipped it around. And that is how you do arced lettering underneath the design. I go back into that. I can still go to my arc values and tweak the arc, but you're always going to want to keep it at 180 degrees with a counterclockwise position. That is arcing. Thanks a lot.